Hello there, I am Giant Quarter with more Pokemon Yellow. In the last part, we took on the fourth and final member of the week four, Lance, the master of Dragon type Pokemon, and now we beat him, so we're gonna take on our rival who's the champion of the week four, the week four champion, I should say, Sean. So yeah, I have a game right up front because I know Sean will start off with a Sand Slash, that's why. Let's talk to him. Hey, I was looking forward to seeing you, Steven. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on Pokedex, I looked all over for powerful Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would be any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League Champion. Steven, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. Oh man, okay, we have to... We have to try to put you in your place and see if I'm going to be the pow most powerful trainer in the world, if I'm going to beat you. So yeah, Sean wants to fight, cool. If he starts off with a sand slash, it's level 61. So we're three levels higher than this thing, so let's go for a good old surf. Let's ride that surf, as the Pokemon Stadium announcer would say. Ride that surf! Yeah, okay. So, this could one he could. It does, yay, cool. Super effective, awesome. Okay, he's about to send an Alkazam. Um, I'm gonna stay in for Alkazam. Just because I want to strength it up a little bit, you know, you strength a couple times on this Alkazam. Okay, so this Alkazam is level 59, so we're 5 levels higher than it. Cool. Let's go for the strength attack then. He has some intimidating spoons there. He does about a little bit over half to get Psychic on us. Okay, this is, uh, I think Gamer has a decent amount of special defense, or special I should say, or defense I guess. But yeah, special fell right there. But let's go for another strength. It did about one third, so that's not too much. To make it like, I I I jaw dropping. I should say there goes the Alkazam with another strength. Awesome, cool. We use another strength. At least I could say, at least is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I get my good level 65. Awesome, Executor. Let's switch to Tabasco because uh, Executor is his Grass type Pokemon. The Execute finally evolved into Executor, so that's pretty cool. But Tabasco is probably gonna take it out with a uh, Flamethrower. It might take two though. So yeah, this is Executor is level 61. Then with three levels higher than that, yeah, it's gonna take two. Okay. Let's give this bar edge, but it missed. Okay, let's go for another flamethrower. Just to be safe. It should take it out. It does. Awesome. Nice. Sean is about to use Coyster. Okay, I'll switch to Storm for this one. This Coyster is level 61, so I think we're three levels higher than it, so that's awesome. Let's go for the Thunderbolt. I mean, Coyster may survive this Thunderbolt. We'll have to see. Let's see. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, cool. It's super effective. Awesome. I was trying to get, I was trying to be not as confident and cocky, you know, when I said, oh, I'm not gonna be like, oh, it's gonna take it out when he, I guarantee it. I'm not gonna be cocky like that. No. Okay, so Sean grew, le not, not Sean, but Storm grew level 65. Okay, cool. So it's his nine tails. So let's switch back to, uh, let's go to Brute, uh, not Brute Root, but uh, Lavender, I mean. Yeah. I could go to Gamera for this one, but, the gamer has already taken out two Pokemon of his, so I want to give everyone at least some screen time. Except for Brute Root, I don't think he'll get screen time in this one, which kind of stinks in this battle. So let's go for the Thrash, to, not the Thrash, but the Earthquake. Let's give his Quick Attack on us, okay. Nice. So this Ninetales is level 63, so we're one level higher than it, so yeah. So this is going to be super effective, and it takes it on one hit. Awesome. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna agree level 65, awesome. Jolteon has his last Pokemon. Now, I don't know what makes, uh, sometimes your rival will end up having like a fire on a Vaporeon, but I, forg I don't even know what makes it, uh, what makes it, um, have a, um, the other evolutions. Like, I always, I've had one playthrough where uh, my rival has like a Vaporeon, and I have one playthrough, I'm not gonna switch Pokemon, and I have one, th I've, I've, all my other playthroughs have been where my rival in this game has a Jolteon, and I don't know what determines, like, it having other evolutions. I could look it up and put it on the, as a text over on screen. If I can't find it, I mean, Someone in the comments, please tell me, because I've always wondered, like, what makes your rival have other evolutions. It's probably, like, a simple thing I just not, I'm not getting or something I didn't catch. So, I could be either way. Like, it could be fascinating or it could be really obvious why that, what makes it that evolution that he gets. 
Okay, so this Jolteon is level 65, so it also level 65. It's an even level match. Both Pokemon on my, both Pokemon on each side are level 65. Let's go for the Earthquake though. We're faster than that, which is surprising because Jolteon's pretty fast. But yeah, the Earthquake hits because it'd be super effective and it takes out one awesome. It takes out one hit awesome, nice. Just wanted to repeat myself because I kind of like mumbled there for the first time, I guess. The first time. So yeah, nice. We defeated Sean. No, that can't be. You beat me at my best. You beat my best. Uh, welcome after after all that work to become weak champ. My reign is over already. It's not fair. Thanks for six thousand four hundred thirty-five pocket dollars, man. Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it! You're the new Pokemon League champion. Although I hate, I don't like to admit it. Yeah, I bet you don't like to admit it. Hey, it's Professor Oak, Steven! I like how they missed just slows down there for a second, that's awesome. I so say you won, congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion, although I don't get keep it like in, you know, Sun and Moon, they actually get a, you get actually get to defe defend your title as Pokemon League champion, I'm, I've heard. So yeah. But in this game, you know, Sean magically becomes a champion once again, we have to battle him over and over and over, and we don't get to defend our, ch you know, championship title, I guess. Yeah, okay. You, you've grown up so much since you first left with Pikachu. Steven, you have come of age. Sean, I'm disappointed. I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. Sean, do you understand why you lost? You have forgot you you have forgotten to teach treat your Pokemon with love, with trust and love. Without them, you'll never be become a champ again. Steven, you, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is my voice. Steven, come with me. Cool. I think we're going to the Hall of Fame room, boys and girls. <laughs> ladies and germs, ladies and gentlemen. Ahem. Congratulations, Steven. This floor is the Hall of Fame. Is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Steven, you have endeavored hard to become the new P league champion. Congratulations, Steven. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. Awesome. I like this music. Gamer, a new Hall of Famer. Okay, let's press A. Dang it. Okay. I was already, I did it automatically go. Brood, Hulk, new Hall of Famer. Storm, a new Hall of Famer. Tabasco, new Hall of Famer. Grumpy, new Hall of Famer. Lavender, new Hall of Famer. Nice. So our playtime was 207 hours, 56 minutes, and our money was, um, uh, we ended up with 126,939 Poké Dollars. You still need more Pokémon, of course, you looked at my Pokédex, I didn't even see the numbers, but yeah. You still need Pokémon, try to catch other species. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> There's only one more Pokémon I put in actually catch. <laughs> Me too. <coughs> okay, yeah. The Pokémon League, uh, no, Pokémon version... Yellow Vision staff, yeah. So I really liked this uh, project, it was fun. Uh, yeah, Generation 1 is pretty fun, I mean, it can be, it's different than the other generations, that, uh, that's for sure, but uh, I think it's still a good game, I mean, I like Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Yellow is pretty fun. Um, you be basically, the next part will be the finale, and I don't think it'll be too long, but uh, we're gonna be going in the Suwon Cave, basically, and catching Mewtwo. So that's gonna be exciting. So yeah, that's what we're planning to do, and that'll be the finale, really, because after that, I think that's all you can really do in, in Generation 1 games after that, like Red, Blue, and Yellow, is just, I think the last thing you can really do after you beat the Pokemon League and become the League Champion is just going to Suwon Cave and uh, catching Mewtwo. So that's what we're planning to do. Uh, this is, I think this is the 48th part I'm not exactly sure. Um, 
It's the 40th part or the 49th part, but I think we're still... I think it's the 48th part, actually. Um, but so... Uh, this whole series will be, um... You know... This whole series will be wrapped up with under 50 videos in the playlist. And, and the whole project itself will be under 50 videos, I think. So that's pretty cool. Like, I showed off as much as I really wanted to of this game. I showed, like, all the trainers I wanted. But I showed most I showed most of the trainers and stuff. So I think it'll be fun time. And, you know, the next part will be the finale, like I said. So that end. So, uh, it just restarts the game. Yeah. Cool. Game Freak, huh? So let's uh, start up our old file, I guess. But I'll end the part soon, actually, so yeah. I think we start back up at our house, yeah. So yeah, now we're free to go to Suwon City, where the Suwon Cave is. We didn't heal up our Pokemon, but that's okay. Um, who do I want up front? I, want, I probably want one of my Pokemon that's like level 65, because like the Pokemon in the Suwon Cave, I looked it up and Ditto is up to like level 65, honestly. And uh, that's the highest level wild Pokemon other than Mewtwo being level 70. And uh, I don't, I think I'll be able to pull everything but the Dittos that are up that high of level. So that's, I mean, that's okay, I guess. I mean, running into Dittos isn't too hard, I guess. I can just try to run away from them. But then again, they use Transform and copy your Pokemon that you've sent out. And then um, the moves too, it imitates the moves and the Pokemon you sent out, basically. So let's fly into Tabasco and go to Swain City. There it is, nice, awesome. I'm gonna heal up my heal my Pokemon real quick, so I'll be right back. And I'll end the part right here, I guess. So this has been then my Pokemon Yellow Walk Sky part. Next part we'll take on the Swollen Cave and catch Mewtwo. That's our plan, or that's my plan for the finale. Because the next part's the next video is gonna be the finale. Like I said before. So yes, yeah, so this has been Janko again. I would like to mention goodbye. And I'm to see you guys next part my Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough Guide.